Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build and another episode of Curb Appeal, everybody's favorite type of video. So for those of you who are new, Curb Appeal is the series on my channel where I attempt to recreate photographs and their beautiful exteriors in The Sims 4. So today's photograph, I'm actually going to pop it up on the screen right here right now. It was submitted by one of you guys, so thank you so much to Nina for submitting this photo. Um, if you guys want to submit a photo for me to recreate on an episode of Curb Appeal, be sure to follow me on my social media or join our Discord server and you can submit a photo by just DMing it to me or we actually have a channel in the Discord server where people post photo inspiration. So it's actually a really great um, area for you guys to get inspiration for your own personal builds if you are looking for something to build. So I must say that the original photo or the original, yeah, the original photo actually came from an Instagram page called AD House Plans. So definitely be sure to check out their Instagram page if you want to see more beautiful houses to perhaps recreate in the sims so i was really really drawn to this photo in particular because of course it's a classic dr ashley looking build it's white it kind of has that black modern window the modern farmhouse kind of craftsman style that you guys know i love dare i say dare i say it's my specialty i don't even know can I, am I even allowed to say that? I don't even know. It's definitely what I gravitate to the most. Anytime I see something with a white home with black, large, modern windows, you know, you know, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna recreate it. It's just so nice. And the other reason why I was drawn to this home is I was actually kind of interested in the kind of L shape. I don't think I've done a home with this dramatic of an L shape before. So I thought it would be kind of a cool floor plan and something a little bit different. It's kind of like same, same, but different, you know? I'm staying within my comfort zone, but also doing something slightly different. Um, the other thing that I really loved about this home is I could tell that I could make it a one-story home. So you guys know that I really love one-story homes, not only for furnishing, but honestly just for gameplay. I find that playing in a one-story home is just so much easier. You don't have to wait five hours for them to go up the stairs. If you have toddlers or kids, it's not going to take them seven hours to get down the stairs and stuff like that. It's just a lot easier to you know, be, be, have everything just on one story, you know what I mean? So when I saw this home, I knew that in real life, this home is probably a two-story home, but I knew that I could make it a one-story home in The Sims and kind of play with the, with the height and stuff like that and the roofing just to make it still look like the photo, but make it the ideal one story. So that's always the goal. I always have certain things that I'm looking for in homes. Um, so the roofing was a little bit more tricky. I might have gotten the roofing dimensions slightly off in terms of the photo, but overall, I definitely feel like I captured the essence of this home and the color scheme. And I honestly really, really love how this one turned out. I think that I would actually use this home, which is rare because I generally speaking do not use the homes that I build, but hopefully you guys do. Hopefully you guys do. Let me know down below if you guys have ever used a home of mine um, and you've ever downloaded a home of mine. I mean, surely some of you guys out there have used at least one of my homes, hopefully. I don't really know. Or do you guys usually watch my videos for like inspiration for your own personal building in The Sims? Is it more for inspiration or is it more just to like keep you company and like we can chat and stuff? Let me know. Yeah, I'm kind of interested. Like why, why do you guys watch my videos? <laughs> um, but anyways, you can, yeah, I don't know. I just want to get to know you guys. So let me know something about you down below. So here you can see we've pretty much completed the front facade. And what I thought was super cool is I was trying to figure out what to do about the garage doors because we don't have cars in The Sims as of, you know, May 2nd 
2021, <laughs> we do not have cars in The Sims. So there's really, we don't really have garages because of that, because why would we have garages if we have no cars? Haha. Ha. So I didn't really know what to do with the garage portion of the photo, but somebody in my Twitch chat actually recommended that I use the Snowy Escape kind of large wood sliding doors. They're kind of like um, Japanese inspired and kind of wooden and they're large. And I thought, oh my gosh, they actually fit so perfectly and match the photo so perfectly so it was an amazing amazing idea obviously i didn't furnish the interior like a garage i just you know furnished it like a normal bedroom but from the exterior you definitely get that same effect of having that nice light beige large garage door so i thought that that was so so amazing and i'll definitely be using those snowy escape garage doors or snowy escape sliding doors as garage doors until we get normal garages, if you know what I mean. So finally, the exterior is done and we are working on the interior. So this interior was actually very special because this was the first day that the Country Kitchen Kit came out. So this build was a long time ago, you guys. It's it's taken a long time for me to edit this video. <laughs> so it's finally out. So this was my first time building with the Country Kitchen Kit. Um, and I really was gravitated towards these black counters. As soon as I downloaded the pack, I was like, I need to use these black counters in a nice modern farmhouse build, but like make it modern. I don't want it to look too country kitcheny because I feel like the matching cabinets are too worn looking. And I really think that these bottom cabinets are super beautiful. The black with the pure white countertop with the brass hardware is just A+. Plus. But if you pair it with the matching cabinets, it's, it's overkill. It's too much. It's just too worn down. It's too shabby looking. Um, so as soon as I saw these black ones, I had this vision that I wanted to pair it with these modern cabinets up top and just have that like juxtaposition of the old versus the new and have it look like they've repurposed these kind of antique or original, you know, country cabinets and did this little renovation and paired it with these new appliances and these new cabinets. And that was really like... What, where my mind went as soon as I downloaded the pack and saw these country kitchen um, counters. So I will say that I am overall a huge fan of the country kitchen kit. I think that it is a lovely, lovely little kit. Um, pretty good value for, you know, five bucks. And if you're a big kitchen fanatic like me, then you will definitely love them. You just have to kind of be a little bit more creative in how you're going to use them, but I thought that this would be a good opportunity for me to show you guys how I would use the Country Kitchen Kit because I'm not super into, you know, worn down kind of cottagey builds. You guys know that. I'm more into the modern vibe, so here is just where I wanted to show you guys how to make the Country Kitchen counters um, a little bit more modern, and I think I succeeded. I definitely feel like I lived up to my vision and I'm very very happy with how this um, kitchen turned out. I don't usually go for like black kitchens. Um, usually it just seems very uh, dark and kind of gloomy but I feel like there is a little bit of charm with these kitchen counters because they're a little bit worn and because you have that long brass handle with the clean white top honestly they look quite homey and quite welcoming so I think when you put them in a really big large room like this they can actually look quite um, happy and not so dark because usually I don't go for a black kitchen because it can just look very gloomy and dark but I feel like it really works in this room and in this build and I I don't know. I'm just really, really happy about how this kitchen turned out and I'm happy that I had a vision and I executed it and I hope you guys are proud of me. <laughs> but here is also something that was really cool that we did. Um, I didn't want to put too many cabinets across the entire way, like across the whole wall. And I also really love open concept floor plans, as you guys know. So what we decided to do is we decided to cut open the wall and kind of put a little half wall there instead to make a little cutout 
So when you're in the kitchen, you can still kind of see through to the living room and still have a little bit of that family interactive feel while also still having a lot of room separation and still adding a couple of cabinets. Um, I think that I'm really into that kind of layout lately of cutting open the wall. Um, It's kind of like a transition between fully closing off the room and keeping it completely open concept. And sometimes when you have these open concept floor plans, you want to put the stove like not against the wall, but then you can't really put the stove, you know, in the middle of the room because it has to kind of lean up against the wall type of thing. So I feel like this is kind of a good middle ground where you can kind of open it up a little bit. So I don't know, hopefully that made a little bit of sense. (laughs) But the other thing that I also did is I did a little breakfast bar. As you can see in the corner, I did the little dine out booth so they can just have a little breakfast in the corner and I also have a little formal dining room as well using the new base game slash Hey Harry CC collaboration. So those are just my favorite, favorite dining room um, items. They're my new favorite. You guys know that. I will never stop using those items. <laughs> but here you can see we are working on the living room. So like I said, it's a very open concept. So you can kind of see from the kitchen into the living room. It's a very interactive kind of family feel. I love how grand this room is. It's just so like welcoming and just like luxurious looking. Whenever I see, whenever I picture like a luxurious kind of like mansion almost I just picture like lots of space you know like having tons of room to walk around and just you know picturing a lot of parties and entertainment and that's what I really associate these like super architectural luxury masterpiece homes to be is just like lots of space (laughs) so I wanted to kind of emulate that here with these big Um, large windows it just feels very open and airy and almost cold feeling but at the same time welcoming Um, we have that nice big fireplace there I really like doing that trick where you um, kind of jut the wall out a little bit add a little window from uh, it's like a base game window it's like a rectangular window and then you slot the city living fire coffee table in there that way you kind of have a nice burning um fireplace that's kind of like that modern one that's in the wall instead of exposed so i really like doing that trick it's kind of a nice alternative than having a full-on like sticky outy like mantle with the, the traditional fireplace so this one's just a little bit more modern i think it would be really nice if we got like legitimate modern fireplaces in the sims i feel like they need to get on that super soon or at least have ones that we could like insert into walls like I just did Um, but maybe one that's like a little bit more legitimate in the game and not like a makeshift one Um, but yeah I feel like The Sims in general is kind of catching up in terms of modern decor Uh, a lot of like in my opinion if you look back at the older packs like it's just very outdated kind of and not super you know modern sorry i keep saying the word modern (laughs) but especially when they collaborated with hey harry for the base game update like you know her her style is just so amazing and they really need to collaborate with more creators in the community and cc creators and everything or just even as consultants to really get a feel of like modern stylish designer decor you know what i mean um But yeah, I feel like they're definitely moving in the right direction, especially with giving us a lot of neutral swatches, you know, Eco Lifestyle, um, Snowy Escape, even the Paranormal Stuff Pack, they gave us a lot of neutral swatches, even though they gave us color, they still made sure to give us some neutrals as well, which are a little bit more versatile and a little bit more like expensive looking or designer looking, Um, but you know there's always room for improvement so I hope that I hope that we get some more modern pieces and a little bit more like cool stuff coming soon I don't know hopefully like the country kitchens kit like the counters are beautiful they look like designer counters and stuff it's just the cabinets that are a little bit a little bit meh meh 
meh. <laughs> but let me know what your guys' thoughts are of the Country Kitchen Kit so far. Now that it's been out for a while, did you end up getting it? Have you been using it? Did you get your hands on it? Let me know. Um, did you like the kitchen I built? Yes or no? <laughs> um, but here you can see, now we're moving on to the kids' bedroom. So I did a quick little teen bedroom. Um, in the middle there, I kind of went for like that blue and purple vibe. Um, I think that bedroom would be perfect for either a female or a male sim. It doesn't really matter. And I really like the colors. And I've never really done like a dark, dark blue navy room like that. So I think that that would be a very nice room for a teenager or a young adult. And then here I am doing a little... Um, kind of like kids bedroom maybe they're twins maybe they're brother sister not really sure but I went for an orange color scheme which is very unlike me and okay here I'm showing a sandwich <laughs> that was really random but yeah that was a really really large sandwich and it was just like the size of my face and I really wanted to show everybody how large the sandwich was because I've never seen a sandwich that large in my life so yeah fun times on the stream you guys <laughs> I will show you sandwiches and food if you join the stream <laughs> but here you can see I'm just putting um, like a little desk a little shared desk for the kids putting in some kids clutter and all that good stuff i don't really know what goes in kids bedrooms what do kids even do in the sims they just like play with toys and random stuff like that do homework play with toys watch tv i don't know kids need more activities you guys honestly let me know if you agree that kids need more stuff to do like maybe like sh they should have like dance class or like organized sports like i don't really know but I feel like I always struggle with kids' rooms because I just don't know what what do the kids want to do? What do they want to do? Play with the dollhouse all day? I don't know. I guess now nowadays kids just play with their iPads, right? <laughs> I guess that's the sad truth. <laughs> what did you do as a kid? When I was a kid, I used to play in my backyard all the time. Like, don't get me wrong, I played a good amount of like computer games. Of course, I was a total gamer as a kid. But I also remember spending so much time in my backyard, like just doing cartwheels and trying to like teach myself how to do a handstand and like playing badminton over the clotheslines that were like drying the clothes. I would like use it as a badminton net and like play badminton over it. I don't know. Did anyone else do that? Let me know. <laughs> but you can see we are back onto the outside. And because the lot was a little bit um, wider than it was like deep I couldn't do a backyard instead I did more of a like side yard which was kind of cool I'm full of surprises in this build first an l-shaped home now a side yard not a backyard who am I um but yeah I had more I had more width to work with so I put the um, backyard kind of on the on the side and here you can see I'm doing a little trellis thing so I can have a little undercover area for a nice barbecue outdoor dining section so i think it looks really cool and cozy and a really nice welcoming area to have like kids and their friends over for a nice little barbecue or even a a nice like backyard party with friends or extended family or something um i also had a little bit of room for a small little pool which i think is so so cute it's not a huge pool but i mean there wasn't a ton of room and i kind of like how cozy the pool is it's just kind of like in there a little bit perfect just for like kids to play in not really for like doing laps or anything but definitely like a nice kids pool and stuff like that um but overall this outdoor area i think even though it's kind of small and to the side um it's actually really cozy and really inviting um i would love to have this outdoor area it's actually just it's actually beautiful <laughs> I feel like because of lockdown and because of, you know, the pandemic, we really are, I'm really like opening my eyes on how important it is to have like a good backyard space to like do stuff in because you can't like go anywhere. So the only time you can see the outdoors is if you go outside in your own backyard and Right now, I live in like a condo, obviously, but we have a little bit of a patio, which I really appreciate, but I feel like I didn't really appreciate patios before until 
I never left the house that much this past year and now I really value outdoor patios and if I ever get to look for a house and go house hunting one day maybe hopefully when I can finally afford a house <laughs> I'm really gonna look for like a nice backyard I feel like that will be like a checkbox on my list because I'll forever be thinking what if we have to go in lockdown again <laughs> oh my gosh like I feel like that was never a real threat but now we have to consider it like what this could happen again maybe like you never know like diseases and, and viruses and stuff like you know you, you never know right so yeah now we need to have like patio appreciation day you guys <laughs> but anyways here you can see I'm doing the bathrooms and I usually don't include my bathroom footage but I figured because I was really prominently using the country kitchen uh, kit counters in all of the bathrooms I figured I would include the footage just so you guys can get some bathroom ideas on how to use the country kitchen kit counters in a bathroom I think that they're actually so cute for making a little bit more like colorful bathrooms as you can see I did like a blue one and a green one so um, they're honestly quite quite darling and quite endearing quite charming how many words can I think of oh and here you can see I am laying out all of the seasons couches just because I wanted to illustrate how ridiculous the seasons couches color swatches were everybody um you know gives me a lot of heat for the fact that I say that seasons isn't all that great okay and don't 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 give me heat right now hear me out the color swatches on the Seasons Furniture are not it. They're just not it. They're not top tier color swatches. I'm sorry. Are there some nice items in Seasons? Yes. Does it add cool weather and stuff like that? Sure. Are the swatches good? No. They are not. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the season stands out there, but you have to take a little step back and reflect on all of the weird colors that they decided to give us with the season's furniture, and then, you know, we can reconcile our differences on the season's expansion back. <laughs> it's kind of just like a running joke now for me that I hate seasons. I obviously don't hate seasons. I don't hate any pack. But, you know, there are some short shortcomings in the Seasons Pack that I feel like people often overlook. I'm just saying. But anyways, back on topic here, you can see I'm doing the master bedroom. And I wanted to do like a cool little headboard thing because I didn't want it to just be like plain. So I actually took some laundry day kind of like cabinets or like a little shelving unit or something like that. And I flipped it. Um, to the reverse so I actually used the back of that piece of furniture and I lined it on the wall and I just tucked the little season's bed into the back of the furniture piece so that it kind of looked like a little built-in headboard so see see you guys I'm using seasons it's fine no shade to seasons I love the season's bed I think that I love the season's bed because like the headboard is non-existent and I can really customize the headboard by using other like creative tricks and stuff. So that's why the season's bed is honestly so versatile, but I just wish that it came in better colors. Not gonna lie. That's fine. That's just my opinion. <laughs> it's all fun and games, you guys. I hope you guys don't actually think that I dislike seasons that much. It's, you know, I'm, I'm growing to love it, but at the moment I don't. Um, but you can see I'm doing the last little bathroom. Um, this is the master bathroom. I decided not to put a door onto the master bedroom because um, luxurious homes do not have doors on the bathrooms, apparently. <laughs> I don't know. I just like have this weird checklist of things that I categorize as luxury in my head. They may or may not be valid, but when I think of a luxurious bathroom or a luxurious ensuite, I think no door. I just think like everything is so big and there's so much room that you don't even need doors because everything is, you know, there's so much walking room and so much space, you know, everything is so echoey and large, like who needs a door? Um, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this build. I really, 
I think I really enjoyed this one. I, I really like the whole one story vibe of it. I just think that it has a really great flow to the home and I can see my Sim family living here. But also let me know what you guys think of the country kitchen kit and if you guys have been using it. If you have, I'd love to see your guys' build using the country kitchen kit and just like how you guys have been using the different colors and the different cabinets and the different countertops. I'm definitely looking for different ideas and yeah, I'd love to see your guys' work. But besides that, the build should be done and the screenshot should be rolling, which means it is time for me to get out of here. But before you go, let me know if you guys stayed till the very end of the video as per usual. And also don't forget to give me a little personal rating out of 10 on how you guys are feeling. I always want to check in with you guys and make sure you guys are doing okay. I personally am at like a nine, I would say. I had really great food. I had a great sleep i did some grocery shopping today so my fridge and my pantry is fully stocked so that's a really great feeling so i think i'm at about a nine i would say so let me know down below how you guys are feeling today and if you are feeling a little down hopefully this video made you feel a little bit better um, but besides that let me know what you guys thought of the build thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you thought about it and if this is our first time meeting, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to be friends or if you want to see more Sims 4 videos. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye everybody!